Work orders. Managing work orders in Blue Folder is easy and powerful. At a glance, you and your entire team will know what work you have and exactly what stage the work is in. A work order, once created in Blue Folder, cannot be lost or forgotten. Therefore, you'll always have an accurate view of your service business, past, present, and future, real time. When hovering over the work order list, you'll have access to create new work orders, go to the work order list, search comments and notes, and access your recycling bin. You also have the ability to create new recurring work orders and go to the recurring work order list. By clicking on the work order list, you'll have access to all the work orders for your customers. The list can be filtered by work orders assigned to me or by all work orders. Access to all work orders can be limited by user role and permissions. Work orders can then be filtered by status and the time frame they're assigned for. To further filter the list, you can enter values in the search tool and search by specific criteria. When the work order in question is located, simply click on the number or the description and you'll be taken to the work order overview tab. The overview, much like a dashboard, will show you the most recent and pertinent information about this work order. On the top of the work order, the number, the description, and the customer is displayed. On the right, the current status will be displayed in addition to all the scheduled and unscheduled assignments. All users who are related to this work order will also be listed. The main body of the service request will house the customer, the service location, and contact information to help your staff know exactly who to help, when, and how to contact them if necessary. The detailed description will allow you to further define what's happening and how to better help this customer. If the work order has to do with equipment or assets, the item will be linked to the work order under Equipment to Service. Additional information such as created and closed date will be exposed, as well as any custom work order fields you've added. The last three log entries are shown, and you can take direct action by clicking to add a comment. A quick link is provided to take you to the full history of this work order if needed. Last, the three items most recently added to this work order will be exposed. For a more detailed view of specifically the labor, materials, and expense items, you can simply click on the Items tab. Here, all the items pertaining to this work order will be listed. If items need to be added, deleted, or edited, you can do so right here. The Billing tab provides essential information to the billing information, such as if the work order is billable or not, who the work order is billable to, if there's a contract associated with this work order, the billing status, invoice date, and invoice number if integrating with a supported accounting system. The billing summary will show the labor, materials, and expenses for this work order to include price and tax. Under the totals, the costing matrix helps to easily break down costs, margin, and profitability. The Attachments tab will house all the uploaded pictures, documents, and signed documents related to this work order. In this case, there's a before and after picture, a signed billing summary, and a signed entry form. A quick click on the picture, and we'll see the new unit that was installed in this case. Here's the before picture. And here's the signed billing summary that the client signed off on before a technician left the site. Under the Log tab, the entire history of who, when, and what is listed in chronological order. Like the Overview tab, direct action can be taken on any log entry by adding a comment. Depending on permissions, users, and notification preferences for customers, log entries will be emailed and or texted to users. Standard users in Blue Folder can reply to emails sent from the work order and they'll be added to the log. Customers can also respond to notifications. Those responses will come back to Blue Folder to the work order in the log as well. To take action on any of those interactions, simply click Add a Comment, choose if it's public or private, private for internal communications, public for external, and click Submit. For questions and help, please feel free to contact Blue Folder or visit us at www.bluefolder.com.